Hello. It's been a while, and you may have noticed a lot's changed. That's right. I have a beard now. But the world looks different too. Despite two whole seasons talking about the science of happiness and the science of love, there seems to be less of that going around. So we thought we'd dust off the old lab coat because the world could always use more science. Welcome to the science of empathy. Before we really dive in, we thought it important to define just what empathy is. Empathy is the ability to feel what others are feeling. Now, that may sound suspiciously similar to sympathy, but there is a major difference. Sympathy is feeling for someone else. Empathy is feeling with someone else. Now, I know the difference seems trivial, but practicing empathy can have a very different outcome than sympathy and make you more successful in interpersonal relationships. But we're not just going to tell you, we're going to show you with a little game. We invited in pairs of people with all sorts of relationships, from total strangers to couples that have been married for decades. My seat's better. <laughs> we'll see about that. You guys a little competitive? A little bit. You could say that. So how do you guys know each other? My little cousin. I am his little cousin. What's the nature of your relationship? We're married. Or married. Oh, married. <laughs> Congratulations. Two W's. Twice the winning. <laughs> We asked each pair to play something called the ultimatum game. And the rules are really simple. These $20 are yours, but you have to offer some of them to your partner. Now, if they don't like your offer and say no, then you both get nothing. If they like your offer, then you both walk away with something. Okay. You guys ready to play? <laughs> Okay. A good deal is one where everybody wins. So in order to make one, our volunteers will need to flex those empathy muscles to assess exactly what the feelings and desires of the person on the other side are. We're going to see if people who use empathy and consider the other person have more success in the ultimatum game. You're not allowed to communicate what you're thinking. Talk about the decision you're making until you make it. If he refuses it... Then you get nothing. Then I get nothing. Then nobody gets anything. Okay. This does not happen very often, so I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Here's $20. Okay. Thank you. One, two, three. Oh, I see that. I think five. I think five is more than fair. Five dollars. Is this what you're offering, Wood? That's what I'm offering. Him. Eight dollars? Eight, eight, eight bucks. And the 12 is yours to keep? Okay. So you've got ten dollars here. Is that got your offering? Got ten dollars, yeah. Okay. Katie. I knew you were going to do ten dollars. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> this is a Libra Even thing. 19. Yeah. <laughs> 18, 19, 20. There was very little hesitation in that. Patty offers the full. $20 to Ray. $14. Okay. Because I love you, and I want you to have the best share. Okay. 14 to six mm. is the split. All right, do you accept Sean's offer of $10? I do accept Sean's offer. Congratulations, you've won the ultimatum game. Wow! We did it! <laughs> I'll accept that. You're gonna accept the $8? Yeah. I can right. buy some food with that. <laughs> That's a good meal. <laughs> I'm gonna accept your offer. My measly little six dollars, but that's okay. <laughs> Brett, do you accept the offer of five dollars? No. I'm sorry, you do not win the ultimatum game, <laughs> and you both walk away empty-handed. <laughs> Thanks. That's You're the welcome. whole game. <laughs> that's it? Yep, that's the Well, we but just I lost. I oh, want to well. ask you. Yeah. Oh well. Whose fault was that? I mean, you should have been more gracious <laughs> with the offer. Of the 10 pairs that came in, nine beat the ultimatum game and walked away with something, while one couldn't agree on how much to share and in the end, got nothing. When we asked the givers why they chose the amount they offered, the successful ones said they chose the amount because they thought about how the other person would feel. After nearly 50 years of marriage, <laughs> I had a pretty good feeling that if I gave her eight, she wasn't gonna be too happy. 
while the unsuccessful ones said they thought what they would do if they were in the other person's position. Why did you offer five? I was considering what Brett would have done in my position. He would have thought the exact same way I did and would have offered me one dollar. If I came up here and said, Brett, I'll give you five dollars, he'd say, sure, great. But if I said, but I get 15 and you only get five, then it changes everything for him. See, he could have had five and he'd rather have nothing. See, empathy runs a lot deeper than sympathy. It's feeling what another person feels rather than just putting yourself in their shoes. All right, Wig, you've got your eight. Mm -hmm. Patrick, 12. Do you guys feel happy with this outcome? I'm happy with it because it could have been worse. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. <laughs> sure. You did, yeah, you did come out ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, like, if there's kind of that line, if he'd had seven, I don't think I'd feel so good about it. Why is that? Same here. Just like, kind of like that. It's just, that you know, bit. there's just kind of a line. Yeah. yeah. I, I you think he'd like, be unsatisfied? Yeah, I just, I wouldn't feel good about it. Tom, even though you're walking away with less, how do you feel? I think I walked away with more. <laughs> um, more because she's happy, and her happiness means more to me than a few dollars. You handed over the full $20. Are you happy with your decision? I'm very happy with that decision. It's pretty easy. Why? That's my baby. I'll give her anything. I'll give... <laughs> You're gonna make me cry now. <laughs> If the uh, situation was reversed, how much do you think you'd offer? Same. $20 what's, what's right What's mine away? is yours, what's yours is mine. It's not always easy to connect with people around us, like a stubborn coworker or a relative with a different worldview. If you're having trouble seeing things from another person's point of view, ask yourself, are you just putting yourself in their position? Or are you truly looking beyond yourself and putting in some real emotional energy into understanding their experience as a human being? More on that next time on the Science of Empathy. Super Cake.